So could you give us kind of a, a, I guess, a prototypical idea of what the environment was when hip hop was just a local block party thing? It's really amazing. And it's a story that, you know, the energy and the vibe and the spirit that was going around New York City, the five boroughs during that time was something that's so hard to explain. You really had to be there to, 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 to really understand that energy that was happening. See, we were all like a, a group of people who understood and, and really related and, and loved this culture way before it became a culture. So it was just like something new that we were trying to do and represent. Of course, you had disco. Mm-hmm on this side of the fence and then you had r&b soul music and uh most of us grew up on soul music and we love james brown and the motown sound and the isley brothers and all of that stuff and we started playing soul music when disco became the most prominent thing that you heard on the radio the motown sound that we grew up on in the 60s the snare drum we're talking music theory now mm-hmm. the snare drum was on the one two three and the four pop pop Pop, right. tap, boom, baby, 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 mm-hmm. you know, and 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 then disco comes out, and it went back to the same four on the floor. On the now. floor, right? We're talking about the kick drum, right. right? The boom, 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 boom. So that beat for us wasn't like James Brown because in between disco and Motown had a musical revolution mm-hmm. with the sound that we call boom bap. So mm-hmm. the boom, bat, boom, bat, boom, bat, bat, boom, 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 bat. Syncopated rhythms. Syncopated rhythms. Yeah. And the drummer, you know, Clyde Stubblefield was incredible. So as kids, when we heard this new sound, we were like, we lost our minds. Everybody wanted to be James Brown and dance like him. That's when we started going down to the floor whenever we heard the break. Because the break of the music was the most important part of the song. That's when everyone did their best dance moves. That's when we created the circle. So people people. just literally wanted to wait for the breakdown. Like, okay. That's what it was. About five bars. That's what it was. It's really going to get crazy. And And, and I'm talking to 1972, 73. Okay. Okay. So here comes Cool Herc, the DJ, who understood this, that the break was so very important. And we were B-boys and B-girls because we danced to the breaks that Cool Herc would play. And he would play these funky, incredible songs like Give It Up or Turn It Loose or mm. Getting Into Something by the Isley Brothers or or Listen To Me by Baby Huey or, or Jimmy Caster's Just, Just Begun, mm-hmm. The Mexican, you know, The Melting Pot, Apache, right. you know, all these incredible songs were and they were soul music but they were fast and 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 it was the same kind of tempo as disco music it was dance music i call it obscure dance music it was funk mm-hmm. and we just lost our minds so we represented and created those circles around us just like saturday night fever you know the movie with john travolta mm-hmm. with the white suit on he creates this circle around him and pretty soon somebody comes in the circle and they do a competition and a battle and the winner of that competition was the most popular guy he was the hero right. of, of the story right right and so that's what happened at the cool hurt clubs around 12 one o'clock and and in, in the morning he played this give it up or turn it loose and everybody was standing around waiting for the break when that break came we went off and that was hip-hop the first early days of hip-hop 